It is unclear if only Targaryens are entitled to claim dragons in light of Rana as plot in House of the Dragon to transform people who may not have strong Valyrian bloodline into dragon riders and turn them into Targaryen bastards. Set during the height of House Targaryen's dominance, House of the Dragon is based on George R. R. Martin's fire and blood. The Dance of Dragons, however, when the Targaryen monsters were sent to fight among themselves as Rhaenyra and Aegon II fought for the crown, would change the course of history and forever alter the power and influence of the House of the Dragon. Neither fire and blood nor a song of ice and fire contain any examples of dragon riders whose ancestry does not connect to old Valyria in some manner. Having said that, this does not prove that a person must be of Valyrian descent in order to ride a dragon. This belief has been exploited by the Targaryens to strengthen their dominance, especially in Westeros. Being able to form bonds with such amazing creatures should prove that they are the closest to the gods of all. After all, they are the House of the Dragon. The Valyrian Freehold housed the greatest power in the known world prior to the advent of the Iron Throne. This authority was centered in Valyria, and the majority of Essos was under the rule of this unofficial kingdom. The Valyrian freehold was mentioned in art, warfare, sailing, and other contexts prior to the doom of Valyria, which is mentioned multiple times in the television series Game of Thrones. The exact number of formal houses in this area before the doom is unknown, but the Dragon Rider houses were by far the strongest and most prominent. They had the title Dragon Lords. The only dragon lords from ancient Valyrian history that are known to exist are the Targaryens, the Balerys, and a man by the name of Orion, according to Fire and Blood, an in-universe history book that has very little knowledge of the early history of Essos. Furthermore, how these people and their families were able to form bonds with dragons is a mystery. Blood magic is a common theory that would give the impression that only members of a particular lineage may become dragon riders. The Targaryens were not the most prominent family in Old Valyria only because they were dragon lords. Aegon Targaryen and his sisters will ride their dragons to Westeros and conquer the continent some hundred years after the doom. But the only dragon lords to survive the doom of Valyria were the Targaryens, presumably because they managed to establish themselves at Dragonstone. Though not dragon lords, House Valerian was one of the Old Valyrian families. Nevertheless, Targaryens had numerous marriages with Valerians, giving birth to multiple Valerian dragon riders. Dragons became a symbol of House Targaryen's strength, as they became the strongest power in the world following the doom. The reason the dragons are so significant to the Targaryens in Westeros is summed up in Rhaenyra's opening statement in House of the Dragon Season 1 Episode 1. They make people think that they are more powerful than ordinary men. However, there's no hard proof that having a dragon as a friend correlates with having Valyrian ancestry. In A Song of Ice and Fire, however, the mechanics of blood magic are not even entirely known. The fact that the laws governing the magic system and the potential existence of many gods are left up for interpretation is one of the things that makes George R. R. Martin's universe so fascinating. See you eventually on another engrossing review. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.